How many children do you have, Roy? Easy. Same as her. We have one son, and he knows that. You know that, Roy. How about the year, Mr. Goldback? I don't know. How about the date? Day, month? Haven't the faintest idea. Then, well, that's an easy one, Roy. Maybe for you. You should really try to answer. Dr. Murphy? Just trying to remember. I, I, I don't. Yesterday was Monday. Then Tuesday. That's right, Tuesday. He got it. Mr. Goldbach, you scored 18 out of 30 on your mental status exam. I'm obliged by law to take away your driver's license. <gasps> now, how am I going to get to bridge? And how am I going to get to work? You don't work anymore, Roy. Of course I work. I work every day. I have a shop downtown. This is your memory issue that we've discussed? Sorry. Right. Oh. Our time's up. But, uh, wait. Dr. Jerkerman? Uh, um... We didn't get any individual therapy time with Esther. We have another patient coming. I'm late for work. I, I think she could really use some new tools. There's a clinic that I was reading about in Oregon. The Hewitson Center. Yeah, they have... They take their lead from the Alzheimer's patients. That's because they have a one to three physician to patient ratio. We don't. You really want to do something to help? You get the gold box a taxi. Esther, I'm so sorry we ran out of time. No, thank you. You've been very kind. Well, <laughs> now. Why isn't she my doctor? <laughs> Hello there. Roy, Esther, this is Maggie. You have to excuse my husband. Nothing brings him to life like a pretty young girl. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. Me too. Hey, I forgot. Here, my card. I'm going to put my personal cell number on the back. Never in my office. You don't have an office. Guess that's why. Uh, call me anytime. I'd rather have her number. <laughs> We're all right from here. Come on, Romeo. <laughs> Isn't it against the rules to give your personal cell phone number out to patients? Well, last time I checked, it wasn't against the rules to care. Hmm. Badass. Shut up. <laughs> 